In this demo, we will go over how to create and edit a loft with guidelines. Start by drawing two concentric circles, the first being two inches in radius and the second being two and a half. Next, select both circles using the 3D Select tool. Now click the Make Copy button and enter 6 into the Delta Z field. Next, switch to an isometric view and turn off Make Copy. You should now have two sets of concentric circles, with one set being 6 inches above the other. We will be using these circles as the profiles for our lofts. Now we are going to create the guidelines, so let's switch to a front view. In a front view, the circles appear as two straight lines. To draw in this view, we will need to change the work plane. Right-click in the drawing area, then choose Work Plane by Current View from the pop-up menu. Now choose Spline by Control Points and draw a spline between the left quadrants of the outer circles, clicking once in the middle to add a control point. Now switch back to an isometric view so we can see what's going on. Next, select the spline using the 3D Select tool, then relocate its reference point by tapping the D key, then snapping to the top of the line. Now grab the spline by its reference point and snap it to the left quadrant of the top outer circle. Next, click the Make Copy button. Now grab the spline by its reference point and snap to the left and right quadrants of the top circles, creating a total of four splines. Once finished, be sure to turn off Make Copy. Let's examine the entities and make sure all the splines are connecting the top and bottom circles. Now we are going to be creating our lofts. Let's start with the inner circles. Choose the Loft tool and make sure Compound Profile is checked. Next, select the top then bottom circles. When both circles are highlighted, check the Guidelines option in the Local menu or Inspector bar. Now choose the splines that connect the circles you have selected. Let's switch to a rendered view and examine our loft. So far so good! Now switch back to a wireframe and perform the same loft operation on the outer set of circles. Select the circles, then the guidelines, then finish. Now we are going to subtract the inner loft from the outer loft to create a tube. Before performing the subtract, let's first check and see that Create Editing History is checked under ASUS Options. Choose the Subtract tool. Then first select the outer loft, then the inner loft. Let's change the color of our 3D object to cornflower blue, then examine the model and draft render. Now we can have fun editing the splines to deform our tube. Switch to a wireframe and choose the Edit tool. Now drag a fence from right to left that touches all four splines. Next, drag a fence around the center nodes of all four splines. You can now reshape the tube by moving these nodes around. You can also edit each spine independently to create even more interesting shapes. As you can see, Associative Guidelines create new and exciting modeling options for TurboCAD 2017. For more great videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have not already, download the latest version of TurboCAD from TurboCAD.com today.